Hello everyone, this is Bigowski. And JTB. And we are doing chapter 14 of Al Hazard's Ninja Gaiden Sigma Hard Karma Run. Wow, that wasn't so bad. And this is the last Rachel chapter Thank for God. this run. Yeah, never been a big fan of Rachel. Like, I think she's, I think she's, um, much like Ryu, I think like she's, she's way more fun just to play for combat rather than karma. Like, she's got some really cool moves. I didn't yeah, know about this trick. Bounce bits, and are always really cool. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. But yeah, I never knew you could actually do that with Rachel. So, that's, even I learned something, you know. But uh, yeah, like you think you don't think you can get three UTs out of these fights just because the time limits are too short. And um, with Ryu, like you do have the added benefit of fire wheels to kind of just keep them off you constantly, whereas Rachel unfortunately doesn't have that. I always felt Rachel got kind of a bum deal on Nimpo. Her Nimpo just kind of sucks. It's just like a, a huge bit of damage, really, isn't it? It's not really like it doesn't really serve any utility like Ryu's does. Now, uh, real quick, uh, the Great Bridge Challenge was open. Uh, can you not get into that room? Can she not get into that room? I forgot. As far as I remember, I don't think she can, though. Okay. So we must say that he's already done the, the, the theme challenge. Yeah, that's where you usually fight Masakado. Um, I'm not sure if he'll do a separate video for that, but there's basically a sweet spot right where you would go into it. And you can abuse that pretty reliably to get like single UTs on a lot of the samurais, and you can then kind of finish off the majors. And Rachel's uh, like flip over, flip over move, like right there where you see it, is perfect for charging like an ET to a UT on the majors. So as long as you keep like an essence around, you should be able to get a really good amount of UTs. My time limit, my memory on the time limit itself is not that great. I can't remember if you actually have time to get all 50 UTs. Um, so I double check his score. You can kind of work it out from the score, see if he was able to get all 50. So that's pretty good that he knows where to, you know, the sweet spot is to start and then release and then the timer start on the other two videos or the two encounters before this. Yeah, that's something you definitely want to practice. Like getting that, when you can't chain essence, like actually starting the U, starting the fight with the UT is really important because it starts the whole chain. If you have to kill enemies usually, you're obviously sacrificing points on, you know, killing those two enemies usually as opposed to killing them with a the UT. And also some time too. Now you do have to be careful here, the mages are pretty good at staying back if you keep them off camera, if you keep them on camera rather, they try, they tend to veer off and shoot their fireballs at you, and Rachel's Warhammer UT has got a slightly bigger area of effect of Ryu's, so it's, it's easier than you think to kind of catch a mage by accident in a UT. You know, I was kind of disappointed with the enemies that they chose in this area. It'd be nice if uh, she could have fought at least one of the clones. Ah, uh, like clone, clone reuse with Rachel are really kind of annoying, though. It'd be interesting if they're like, because you know, in Black, they have, there's a QNI scroll, isn't there, where they like Ayane explains the clones and they're, they're like fiends that mimic their enemies. So why doesn't Rachel have a clone? Like, you could have clone Rachels. That'd be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> that would be. I don't know how she'd That'd work. That'd be too maybe. much to watch on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe the physics engine couldn't handle it, and that's why they didn't put it in the game. <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, what would, uh, like... Rachel's attacks, really, I suppose, are pretty vulnerable, though, I guess. But um, they, they altered evil Ryu, though, didn't they? Like, he recovers a lot faster than you do on a lot of his attacks. Otherwise, you'd be able to beat him, you know, really, really easily. So, maybe that's why they didn't go with the clone for uh, Rachel. There seems to be a lot of time in this fight. I know the, he's had to position her, you know, a lot of different ways. I wonder... Uh, somebody, you know, the next guy can try to do something to maybe get another UT out of that fight. Uh, perhaps. I mean, it, like, he gets the max on the ogre. Like, one thing that's important in that fight, as you can kind of see with his positioning, is positioning yourself so you don't get a stray hit of the UT on the ogre, because you want to make sure you get the two enemies and then save the ogre for the last one. I've always hated this boss fight as Rachel. It's so frustrating. Well, whenever you do your... Uh, 
Sigma Karma run again, you can explore that theory and let us know how it works. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 wait, don't wait on that. Don't wait by the phone. <laughs> now, one thing to note on this boss fight is, um, in theory, like it's it's impossible to you know quote win this fight even if you beat them. Um, you know, you, you get the same cutscene, but if you if they actually kill you, then you don't get any kill bonus for the fight. That's why he's actually beating them. And you know, they're two bosses, so they're going to be worth 100k each. So actually beating these bosses is very important if you want to get a really good score in the chapter. And unfortunately, you only really have wall attacks, <laughs> which is kind of what makes it kind of annoying. Yeah, Rachel's, that's pretty um, much all you can do. Yeah, like, in open space, like, Rachel, I'm not really sure how she'd be able to knock, you know, like, Nikkei down to the ground, if at all. So you can just kind of have to lure her in to your wall attacks. And, uh, like, using the Nympho here is really good, because you really do have to be able to, like, you need to be prepared to take a lot of damage in this fight, because you're probably going to get hit just quite a bit killing them. So you want to make sure you come into this with full items. And using the Nympho just grants them a little bit of extra breathing. That sucks right there. Yeah, no, it's just right like, I'm finally going to beat the crap out of you and the other one's like oh no you're not yeah like if you if it's hard to kind of um control this but you definitely want to try and take out nikkei first because you can fight ishtaros fairly well on the ground with rachel but you know nikkei you pretty much just have to use the war attack so and you, you can kind of get a little bit lucky and hope that the info hits them and takes a bit of health off that was close <laughs> I love this combo string he does here. I didn't know you could do this with Rachel. I always used to use um, just X X Y Y square square triangle on it, but uh, this is this is really good. It's really good damage. I wonder if you can charge up a UT if she spins. I would imagine so. As Rachel, I'd imagine you'd have time. I hate it when she just does the knee, <laughs> like when she yeah. just does the knee by itself. Why doesn't Rachel ever use that little sword she's got? <laughs> well that's it I mean the chapter's over with it's such a short chapter yeah that's it for Rachel so well that's it for uh, chapter 14 uh, the time limit is 19 minutes hey they, you know they can get the the fiend challenges you know the time right for Rachel but they can't for Ryu the kills are 44 obviously she's going to be a lot higher than that but we'll see you in the next chapter guys take care